Hey everyone, Pandero here over on jwade78's account. jwade has been in White Knights SG for an extremely long time. Um, whoop. He is a great member, and so he is going to be the first beneficiary of the fund I have set up in my guild. Um, people can donate as much or as little as they want to it, they're not required to, and every time that reaches $100, I'm going to put it on a member's account and I'm going to roll it. Um, it just so happened that he was just that far away from Minotaur. He went ahead and put $50 on last night because he wanted me to roll it, but he was $100 away from Minotaur, and so I decided since he has been in the guild so long, he is going to be the first beneficiary of that PayPal account I have set up. Like I said, it's not required of our people to donate to it, but I just thought it was a great idea to help out some of our lower guys that can't spend as much, you know? So, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to claim him Minotaur right now. I get these runes. And I want to see... He had four slots open in here. So I want to see what this Minotaur comes with. One of eight Berserk. Not very good. We're going to have to roll some talents. Go ahead and grab these. And I th believe we have tons of uh, treasure chests to open, too. Um... Let's look and see what heroes he needs. I know he needs a Skull Knight. He has Vlad. He doesn't have Ghoul. So we got Skull Knight, we got Ghoul that he needs. He's got a lot of heroes, a lot of unevolved heroes, and a lot of talents that aren't ideal. So, yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and roll. I don't know what he has in his uh, warehouse either. I haven't even looked yet. Not much. So, we're going to do this for him. We're going to get him some awesome stuff. Maybe I'll even pull him out of Antarctica here. That would be unbelievable. Maybe a dupe, Multanica. That would be awesome. 19 draws. Anything can happen in 19 draws. 70 shards. I always love pulling the gems out of here. Uh, I just feel like it's getting gems back for what you've for what you've spent and what you've bought. Oh, come on. Give me a hero. Come on. Give me a Skull Knight out of here. Give me a Valentina. I didn't see one of those either. Oh, no heroes at a treasure chest today. Oh! Mm. Nailed it. Skull Knight already. Already has the Skull Knight and a Beast Tamer. He didn't have either of those. So, I'm gonna leave all these lucky numbers for him to do. Um, I don't usually do those for people, they just take too long. Let's go ahead and get all this. Words with friends. Who took their words with friends? Oh. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Skull Knight and Beast Tamer, out of there right at the end. Both heroes he needed, he didn't have either. He also doesn't have Lady Leo, I don't think. Yeah, I didn't see any there. So... Oh, come on, Skull Knight, where are you? Let's go ahead and just start rolling some talents first while we're waiting on that Beast Tamer and Skull Knight to show up. Okay, I believe he has a lot of heroes with two and one talents, so I'm going to be looking for those that I can replace and build him a little bit of might here. Like right here. Replace two one of five revites already. Okay, five condemnation. Uh, let's get all the rest of that, and let's claim our beast tamer and our skull knight. Let's go ahead and open both of them up. Oh man, he's gonna be so pumped when he logs on here. Okay, beast tamer, skull knight. There we go, both of them open. Let's see what they come with. Skull knight with a four of eight heavy blow. Actually, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And a 1 of 8 revive, which is not very good on Beast Tamer. Um, let's look down here. I got this Condemnation. 20% chance to reduce attack speed. I do not like that um, at all. 
but I'm actually thinking that maybe it would be something that was good on a tank. Like, if I put it on Skull Knight, 20% chance to reduce attack speed of four foes by 40%. Um, Skull Knight can tank the living crap out of stuff, and so if he could continually be slowing attack speed, I think that may be helpful. Especially like in Guild Wars, um, I'm not really sure, but I think I would like that more than a four heavy blow, so I'm going to replace it on Skull Knight here, unless we roll something better. Two Berserk, three Slowdown, um... I don't know, This is, it's just going to go on. Like I said, just building a might with the threes and the fours and stuff. Another. Okay, five Scorch. Uh, I don't want that on anything. Here's a one. Here's a three. Another one of five refight. Jeez, oh, Pete. Alright, now we're actually going to get into that actual rolling of them, not just using cards. Okay, three revite. Um, not the worst thing in the world, actually. And he does have some heroes up here that may take this. Um, where is... Okay, his Cupid has a three. See, he's got the six of eight Berserk over on Ares. I don't think that is... I know that's an upgraded talent, but I think a three of five revite is going to do him much better than the Berserk. Um, yeah, and I know it's an upgraded talent. He spent 3,000 fame on this, but I'm going to go ahead and replace this for him. Um, Revite is just endgame for Ares. There is no other talent that can come anywhere close to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 1 of 5 Enlighten. I know I already rolled one of these 1 of 5s, and I totally forgot about to do this. Put it on Beast Tamer. I mean, it's not a big change, but... It's definitely better that way. Okay, 4 of 8 War God would be great on Minotaur. Absolutely great. Um, would also be good on Santa here. But I really want the Bulwark for Santa. So, let's go ahead and start this Minotaur off with a 4 of 8 War God and see where we can go from there. Okay, here's a 3. We'll just keep running down the line here. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a three. Whoa, she's got a five corrode on her. <laughs> okay, now it looks like we're just getting a bunch of ones. Here's a three. Um, I could put it on Beast Tamer here. But, yeah, I'll just, I'll go ahead and put it on Beast Tamer. I really just want a sweet five talent. Come on. Come on. Three Corrode. If it was five Corrode, it would definitely go on Skull Knight here. I just think an 8% chance isn't high enough for um, Corrode really to, to do its job. So we'll replace this right here. Four Corrode, oh, see, and that's a 12% chance to lower three enemies by 40. I mean, and this is the five. 16% to lower by 50. It's a huge jump from four. Um, hmm. You know what? I am going to replace this. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Corrode is definitely one of the endgame talents for Skull Knight. Um... As well as, like, if you're a, an arena player, you probably want the Deadly Strike. If you really are looking for Lost Battlefield or for Guild Wars, the Corrode is killer. Um, lots of people like the Revite as well. So, there's lots of talents that can go on Skull Knight. Okay, okay, here we go. Five of Eight Bulwark. That's what I'm talking about. This is a talent that is definitely for one of these guys up here. We got... Santa Boom, I think this would be perfect on Santa Boom, would also be great on uh, Dread Drake, Harpy. Um, Harpy isn't a hero that he's going to use for everything though, so I don't think I'm going to put it on Harpy. Uh, plus with that 5 Enlighten, he can definitely double Evo her for books, 
so you can have more honor badges. Uh, this would also be great right here on Vlad. I know I just rolled all these guys down here. Minotaur, not going to go on Skull Knight, so it would be one of these two, but they both have a little bit of War God going on with them now, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on Santa Boom. I know I'm replacing another six talent, but Bulwark is the end game. It is. Tenacity is not, so this is getting replaced. Let's see if I can grab anything else real quick here. Three life drain. Uh, this will just go on some dupe that has two something. Here we go. Okay, four berserk. It's not bad. What did his pumpkin duke have? It has six berserk. Okay, so we're definitely not going to put it there. <laughs> um. I don't even really know where I would put this up here. I don't think I'd put it on any of these guys. Could possibly put it on Spirit Mage only because Spirit Mage doesn't have a cooldown uh, with her proc. So she'll go to town. Uh, yeah, for Berserk I don't think I'm actually going to use on any of the main heroes up here. I don't think I'd put it on any of these either. So actually let's leave this for Berserk sit and let's go roll some heroes and see what we come up with. Make sure, yeah he's got enough room. And let's start with the hero rolling. Maybe we'll pull in something sweet, some dupes. Okay, there's a duplicate Ares, straight off the bat, and a ninja. All right, I could work with this. And an Atlanta core. Come on now, come on now. Let's keep it going, keep it going, keep those legends coming. Let's get that Lady Leo. Let's get that ghoul. Looks like we're slowing down a little. <laughs> I really almost want to go back to rolling talents, trying to get something a little better for that uh, ghoul over or not for that ghoul. Okay, here's a dupe of Mortep. Blowing through these gems now. Really looking for those. I think mostly what I need to get him is that ghoul. That's really going to be a huge game changer for him, if I can get that. So come on legends, come on legends. Okay, duplicate Santa Boom, always helpful. Come on legends. <laughs> Jeez, at the beginning it was killing it. Now not so much. Lots of gelatinous champions, all kinds of stuff like that. Which isn't bad in itself. Help you raise those talents, those skill levels, not the talents. Mmm. Well, this at least will get him a ton of fame, too. Be able to upgrade that bulwark on Santa up there. Sweet paladin. <laughs> First legend in a while there with that paladin. Three executioners. <laughs> Some of the luck and chance that comes with these. Okay, Thunder God. He's getting all kinds of duplicates in here. That's definitely good. Definitely good. Especially with that um, Evo Thunder God he has way up there. Okay, so we're almost out of gems. One last 450. And we're done. So... I mean, I gotta find somewhere to put that for Berserk. I gotta do that for him. Um, Thunder God's got this 3 of 8 bulwark. I don't think putting a Berserk... Oh my god, that's a double Evo Thunder God. I didn't even pay any attention to that. Wow. Druid already has the four Berserk here. I really don't don't see any of these heroes being perfect for a 4 Berserk, besides maybe Spirit Mage, and, excuse me, Revive is just so easily crested that I don't, I don't like Revive on main heroes at all. If you want to have Revive, definitely just crest it. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this Berserk 
on Spirit Mage. Hang on a sec. Increase attack speed by 25%. Um, yeah, so that'll take her to 750, which rounded is 800. So she'll definitely attack faster. So we'll go ahead and put it right here. Bam. All right, so bought J. Wade Minotaur. Oh my gosh, he's going to be pumped when he logs on. Oh man. Yes. So, yeah, got him Minotaur, got him Beast Tamer, got him Skull Knight. All things, all heroes that are good, Minotaur and Skull Knight are game changers for him. Definitely game changers. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and feed everything I just got to the Skull Knight. Let's see what we can get here. Maybe not everything. Look at this. We could take him straight to 6 of 10, though. That is crazy. That is crazy. I'll leave him do that. I don't want to... I don't want to impede on his account if he wants to raise Minotaur first. Oh, he's got all kinds of stuff going on in here, too. Yeah, he's looking good. Man, this is going to be such an improvement to his account. Skull Knight, Minotaur. Especially with the War God on the Minotaur, the Crowed on the Skull Knight. Got that Berserk for Spirit Mage. Got that 3 Revite for Ares up here. Uh, got that 5 Bulwark, too. Mm, that's a big deal. Big deal on Santa Boom right there. So... There you go, Jay Wade. I hope you like this. I know I love doing this. If you guys like my videos, please like and subscribe. Every time you do that, it helps me grow my channel, which I now have 700. What's my computer say over here? 760 subscribers. I give you guys a count almost every video, and almost every video the count's higher. So, absolutely unbelievable. Love doing it. Thank you guys for watching. That's all I've got for you, and Pandero out.